review for Disney's Encanto. This will be a non-spoiler review, so this is a safe space if you haven't seen the movie. Basically, this movie was flawless and I have nothing bad to say. Encanto has everything you want in a Disney movie. There is magic, music, humour and emotion. It's just perfect. The story was incredibly well done. There are 12 people in this family and the team of Jared Bush, Byron Howard and Sharice Castro-Smith gave each of them a satisfying story arc. They're also different as well, giving most people a character that they can relate to. The movie did a really good job at tackling complex family relationships. This isn't a movie with a clear-cut hero or villain, it's complicated, which I think is better because that's what it's like in real life. One thing that I particularly liked about the story was how it addressed the plight of refugees. Often this issue gets politicised and people forget that there are real people suffering and desperately needing to escape their homes. And I feel that this movie could help people to see the issue from a human perspective. Obviously the animation for this movie was stunning. Disney just keeps getting better and better and I'm always blown away. Encanto is incredibly bright and colourful, more than any other Disney movie released recently. It's just so beautiful to watch and the animator's hard work really shines through. One thing that really elevates the movie are the songs written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. All of the songs are amazing and all of the voice actors are incredible singers. My favourite song is definitely We Don't Talk About Bruno, which is this amazing ensemble number with overlapping vocal lines. It's just so great and the standout number in my opinion. Moving on to the cast, every single voice actor does an incredible job, but I want to do a special shout out to Stephanie Beatrice as Mirabelle. Mirabelle, in my opinion, is the strongest Disney lead since Anna in Frozen, and that is a big call for me because Anna is my favourite Disney character ever. Stephanie is so funny in the role and is equally as skilled in tackling Mirabelle's emotional moments. It is clear that she loves Disney from interviews and she definitely has cemented herself as one of the best Disney characters I've seen. My other top characters were Bruno, Isabella, Luisa, Dolores and Antonio and I'm going to do a character ranking video going into more detail because I can't really tell you why I loved these characters without significant spoilers. I really hope this movie is successful because I would love a Disney Plus series or sequel. There are so many characters in this movie so there is plenty of material to work with. No spoilers but Dolores has a really good ending and I think it could be a really good jumping off point for a sequel. Also, another reason we need a sequel is because we didn't get to see every single family member's room and I need to see them. Additionally, I would really love a Disney theme park dark ride travelling through this house. Kind of like a not so scary haunted mansion where we go into all of the rooms. I think that would be awesome. So unsurprisingly, I am giving this movie a 10 out of 10. I personally think it will win the Oscar but it's going to be really close between this and Raya. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.